Hello guys and welcome back to the Best Collector Snake YouTube channel. Today I'm going to showcase you the W140, better known as the Cathedral. But first let me slip into something more comfortable. Much better. Now, this is the type of car we get driven around in. And you think, oh, a 600 with a V12 engine. No, 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 no. That just wouldn't be enough for us because this is an S70 AMG with approximately only 18 pieces ever made. This is one of the most exclusive ones. The engine in this S70 has a power output just shy of 500 horsepower. Beneath it, touching the road, the beautiful 18-inch AMG monoblock wheels with the center finished in body color, which is ice blue metallic, and just having 74,000 kilometers on the dial. Now, you couldn't just order an S70 because it was never shown in any brochures or shown as an option. So you had to have some special connections within AMG and Mercedes to be able to order one. And if you could, it would cost you 500,000 Deutschmarks back in the 90s. Also, the full AMG body kit with the front bumper, side skirts and back bumper, complete with parking sensors, a full AMG exhaust all the way down to the tips and the AMG and SFT badges on the trunk. Headlight wiper washes, not that we need them in the desert, but it was an option, so we had to get it. A sunroof, because of that we have plenty. And a V12 badge on the side, to show people that we're not peasants. Not that we would do any work under the hood, but let's take a look for you guys to the engine. The buttery smooth V12. As said, just shy of 500 horsepower and 720 newton meters of torque. And as you can see under the engine bay, the car is put together very sophisticated. And to more appreciate the build quality of this car, you can simply take a look at the quality and thickness of these doors. Double glazed windows for more insulation and noise cancelling. And the quality of this car really speaks for itself because the W140 had the highest development budget of any Mercedes ever produced. Now, let's take my favorite position. Uh, I mean seat in the car. Here in the back, what makes this car very, very special is the blue on blue color combination. Everything is covered in dark blue leather. In the front and in the back, we have the special AMG Recaro seats, fully adjustable with four different settings. Of course, for my delicate feet and my special and royal passengers, we have the optional extra of footrests, a beauty mirror in the back on both sides. Of course, power windows all around, and it's just amazing luxury here in the back enough room to sit and chill. Now, let's take it for a drive. Chauffeur. Oh wait, I'm alone. Ah. Okay, I hate having to drive the car myself, but nevertheless, we don't have any other option in this case. So, in the front, we have electronically controlled door mirrors. Of course, we also have, have park sensors, which can be turned off if you like so. The sensors and the screens are in the dashboard integrated. 
The V12 7 liter engine is paired with a 5 speed automatic transmission. We have cruise control. And if, because we don't like to get our hands dirty, we can open the boot from the front. The trunk, by the way, is spacious enough to take our very special VIP friends with us. So, let's take it for a drive. Well, the V12 S70. What a phenomenal car to drive in, definitely. The buttery smooth V12 engine M120, which has also been used in the later versions in the 2000s in the Pagani Zonda. It's just, uh, even when you're standing still and the engine is on, you can't hear it. It also helps with the double glazing and a well, well insulated car, but it's just a combination you don't see in any other car. Even though in the modern day of age, this car really stands up to the big boys. All the options, cruise control, ABS, ASR, SRS, it's all there. And just a little bit, tiny bit of gas and you're off. Also, suspension wise, the build quality, the ride quality, truly something else. Speed bumps, you don't even feel them. It's just a great, great pleasure to drive in. Also with a slight, slight hint of the AMG exhaust note. It's just enough, nothing too obnoxious or anything, but you can feel and hear is there. You're just extremely well isolated from all the sound from outside, on the small roads and on the highway. That way, even if you're cruising 300 kilometers an hour, you're nothing at all but the beautiful sound of the engine and of course the radio. <laughs> well guys, this is almost the end of the video. If you'd like to know more details about the car, please ask them in the comments down below. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at benzcollector.snake and on YouTube. Subscribe. Click on the bell and stay tuned for the next episode.